So guys, welcome back to the channel. Touching down from the world famous Chiang Mai city in Northern Thailand as always. Today, we're gonna walk through the heart of the old city. We're gonna go and see a cool little place that I went to on Saturday night for a spot of grub and a drink. And I was very surprised by this place. So I got speaking to the owner, Roy, and Roy said, pop round again and have a look and I thought it'd be a cool place for a video and to show you guys. So that's what we're gonna do this morning. So we are on the right side of the moat, just, just up from Tapa Gate. And we turn off down this little famous soy. It's called Moon Muang Road Lane. This is a famous street where a lot of backpackers and a lot of people stay. There's lots of little hotels down here and got the market, look. There they are got the mango steams they got even more expensive man 100 baht a kilo what is going on this year and yeah there's a nice market here i've never really been in this market before but it's quite a big in there's even a food court in there look so you can get your grub and yeah this this little soy is a hot spot for people staying got the green got the greenery shop there look got the weed hello swaddy cap keep calm and smoke on that girl has got the best sign ever that is the best <laughs> keep keep clam and smoke on <laughs> yeah cool this is your shop um no mom i just start work here ah you just start work here over 100 types of weed wow sounds good thank you okay. see you hey how about that then 100 types so we're going to keep walking down and there's lots of places to eat down here they got the famous pizza place down here as well uh, we're going to roy's place because it's a little bit special what he's got out the back and here look got loads of massage shops loads of restaurants got the massage over here look let's just have a look how much here two hours 450 baht body massage 290 foot massage 290 one and a half hours hello how are you see and lots of small restaurants like this 80 baht 80 baht 120 stir fried chicken but let's keep on plodding on room available 400 baht 400 baht see this is what i was talking about before it's like a bit of a haven for backpackers down here but where we're going down to roy's place is a little bit more a little bit more special you know he's he's done it it's a lot different from any of the other places here this is the place it's called jai d i was pronouncing it jd but roy said it's called jai d bamboo huts so i've given away the special part of this place already and yeah, he's done it out really good, look. You can even get trekking tools out the front here. I'll just show you out the front. And yeah, Roy is a good guy. He needs, to, he don't want to be on camera as well. So that's fair enough. Nobody wants to be on camera. So I came down here with a lady Saturday night. We had a meal in here and I just thought it was a, it was a cool place, man. So we're going to go and have a look. And it's, it's nice and open, look. open plan. You can sit and have your, have your meal in peace. It's just more open. I've really enjoyed it in here. So we're gonna take a walk out the back and I'm gonna show you the bamboo huts. So this place is quite full now, I think. So I'm not sure we're gonna be able to app actually go in so you come out the back here and look I wasn't expecting to see this inside the old city and Roy was saying like his his place is the only place that's got like this so if you got one two three four five little wooden huts bamboo huts And I think they all are 
they all are booked out I think which is a damn shame uh, maybe I can get some photos and put up of this place and yeah I don't wanna I don't wanna um, disturb anyone going in there but no one's really come out yet um, yeah, I'd like to look inside one. I'm gonna see if I can in a minute So they've also got a small bar here where you can get your beer. You can get um, your coffee fruit juice It's just such a cool cool area Yeah, it's really nice. He's done it out really good. He showed me some pictures of what it used to look like And yeah, he's done a lot a lot of stuff to it and you've got a reception part here where you can come and chill out. I think you can go upstairs as well. And got some books, some sofas to sit down at. You can come and chill. Right, so we got a key, man, and we can look around ourselves. So, Roy well, just said, take the key and let yourself in. So, we're going to go back. I'm going to let you see one of these little bungalows here what number are we eight yeah this one so you've got your outside outside little porch look you'd sit out here wouldn't you you'd probably go out there for your dinner and a few jars a few beers then come back here and chill out all right guys this is a bungalow at jd Bamboo huts. Got any other lights here? Oh, it's a key card, so. Oh, yeah, I've got it here, haven't I? Right, so I had to put the key card in to put the lights on, didn't I? So this is it, guys. Bamboo hut at JJD. Hey, cool, isn't it? That's all you need, man. And there's your bathroom, look. This is probably one of the better huts that I've seen. Got your shower, and you've even got a divider. You've got a shower, shower curtain. You've even got the extractor fan. Hey, this is nice, man. This is nice. Yeah, I'm liking this. Just your basic hut right in the middle of town, right near Tarpai Gate, guys. So it is a it's a prime time location. Yeah, really like it. Got your storage there, let you get a fridge, kettle. Got your fridge there, let you get your three bottles of water. Yeah, nice man. And your bed. Safety box. Nice picture on the wall there. Let's do the bed test. Yeah, he's an hard one. He's hard. <laughs> he's hard, but I could see myself in here. Waking up in the morning. Coming out with your cup of coffee, look. Happy days, man. So, yeah, I thought, the other day when I come here, I thought, I'm going to get hold of this place because... I want to come back here and have a look around and I got hold of them on Facebook I'll leave the link down below guys and yes yeah, a Thai lady and Roy a friend guy and yeah they said I'm open-minded just come around and we'll see what you do then you can have a look around so I come around and he's like yeah cool man just just have the key have a look around I think I'm waking somebody up I can hear him talking so I'm gonna lock up and we'll walk back out so at the moment guys a night in this bungalow is 1100 baht so i didn't think that was too bad at all for what it is the location it's in and just that different different style bungalow place and you can rent here for a month a month here is 12,000 baht again for the location and where you are it's you know you can find cheaper places of course you can we're staying in one of these bungalows, 12,000 baht. I'll put the prices up on the screen. So if you just come in just for a, for a few nights, 
This is something different inside the old city that I've never really seen before. So it looks like this used to be a bar or something and they've just done away with that. So there is some more rooms in the building which I'm not going to show you because I think they're fully fully booked and it's all about the bamboo places anyway right it's all about there and you can get all your tours here look you can get you can buy your tours and they'll sort all that out for you got your tie boxing and everything so after I'm gonna walk down this way because you're not too far from um, the Zoe nightclub in right inside the old city so I'm gonna carry on walking down and yeah that's where we walked down before so happy days I'll just show you the show you the sign again look JD bamboo huts boutique hotel and restaurant got the um, website on there but I will leave that in the description and I will leave the um, Facebook group as well So I'll just show you a bit of the menu guys uh, Roy did say he's going to update this soon but uh, there's some some nice food on here I think I had the pad thai the other night and it was it was really nice so look you can get a hot coffee 55 baht um, hot latte 55 so it's all good prices great prices get roasted duck 120 baht roasted half a duck 400 baht and you can get your you know your normal chicken and rice and there's a shade like you can sit down here this is where I wanted to sit the other night but there was a few people here so couldn't really sit in you can you can watch the world go by look and you can park your bike up I forgot where I parked Lucille parked it down there I think there wasn't no space here so I parked it down here so it's not it's not busy at all at the minute guys it's very quiet and because it's so hot as well the city is so hot so everybody's just staying home in the afternoons and coming out in the evenings and me being silly i'm out doing vlogs every day you know yeah there's, there's more rooms up here but they're all taken you know just your standard standard hotel rooms so guys, what Roy also does here is he rents motorbikes, which I didn't know before. And he said like he's got 60 bikes, he's got the Aerox and the PCX and the Click. So if I rent a bike out to go cruising, I might get one here. So look, he's got a nice Aerox there, look. That's got my name written all over it. He's got a nice Yamaha GT there as well. And you've got your Clicks got an older click there and I think this is the yeah the N Max that's a nice bike for cruising as well so hopefully I might be able to get a get a deal going with Roy at this place I forget what he said they rent them out for now but it's uh, your normal prices yeah the Aerox would be pretty good right Right, so what we're going to do now, the bike's back, oh the bike's up here, so we're just going to walk up to, I thought I was back there, we're going to walk up to the end of the road here, because it is very quiet guys, in Chiang Mai, and yeah, what about Roy's place, lovely place, right, I have sat there for like three hours, just chatting about Formula One, football and motorbikes and everything, very, very nice chap, so if you go in there for a drink, or just for you know if you stay there Roy is a top bloke to have a chat with in the evening or something so we've got loads of these small places to eat it get your food here so it's like your typical backpacker place up here loads of cheap places look little reggae bars sort of look to them small coffee shops and I'll just show you where we come out to at the end of the road because you're right near Zoe in yellow the nightclub so yeah you know, I'm, I'm a little bit too old for this area this is like where you'd come on holiday and 
spend your week or two youngsters although I do see a lot of older people walking around it I mean everyone to their own right I suppose there's all different ages stay stay in the old city ah, it's absolutely roasting what are they doing in Leo for 90 baht Chang 90 baht Singer 100 baht I mean look at that for a chilled out spot sit out there with your beer happy to pig <sighs> cheap fruit 20 baht bananas they seem better days actually they're all right mm. green ones are all right So we're just going to walk to the end here guys. I just thought this would be a cool vlog for today. Loads of hotels and everything here. No, I ride past here all the time. I ride through here and it's just a normal daily route. But when you come through with a camera, it's totally different. Loads of massage shops. And here, you back out on one of the one of the roads, going back down to Sunday Walking Street. There's Zoe in yellow, right near the traffic lights down there. Look, you can see how quiet it is today. Yeah, so I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Looking at a nice place. Them huts were really good. Not too expensive either, right? 1,100 a night, right in the heart of the old city. I'm going to stop waffling. I'm going to get home and have a rest for a bit and have a siesta because it's that time of year, man. Everybody just chills out in the afternoon, has a snooze, has a nice coffee, have a nice green tea and chill out. So I'm going to stop waffling, guys. Hope you're all safe and sound as always. And I will see you in the next one. So take it easy, man. Take it easy. Oh.